Hey guys, today I'm going to cover gut loading your feeder insects to provide better nutrition to your pet. I'm going to explain the traditional approach and then I'm going to explain my line of thinking and how going forward the way I intend to do it. So, when we gut load our insects, we are basically allowing our pets to get the nutrients from vegetables and fruit. If you have leopard gecko, they cannot eat these things due to their body not being able to process it. The idea is to get the insect to break it down with its body and then feed it to your pet, passing along the extra goodies from the food you provided. The most common method I've seen people use is to isolate your feeders and give them only nutrient-rich foods. Staples are carrots, bananas, potatoes, kale, and most leafy greens. Let the feeder sit with it for one day and then they are ready to be fed to your pets. Some people stick to using a single veggie or fruit. Some put a variety in the bowl. If you want to go an extra step, you can pick and choose what you are gut loading your feeders with and give them a variety of extra goodies to help them and your pet grow. Now let's talk about the Casey Exotics way of doing it. Take three different vegetables or fruit you want to give your pet. I'm going to go with apples, kale, and carrots. The reason I am choosing these three right now are due to availability and what they contain. Let's start with apples. I chose this for vitamin C, potassium, and fiber. Kale for vitamin C, K, A, B6, calcium, folate, copper. I chose carrots for vitamin A, K1, B6, also giving biotin and potassium. Now I set a container aside for the three sets of worms. Each will get one food item and only that one. This way I know what worms have eaten what and I can distribute them more evenly or as I choose to better suit my pet's needs. You are what you eat. This saying applies very much to our feeder insects. The better they are fed, the better they are for your pets. I only just now started doing it this way. This does require an extra step, but whether or not that step is worth it to you is up to you. I argue if you're going to gut load, why not? One extra step to your extra step for the betterment of your pet. Say that five times fast. I'm unsure if taste is a factor that matters to our pets, but it could also make each worm taste different, potentially further adding to the quality of life of your animal. Lastly, let's talk about another item we can gut load our insects with, and crested gecko owners will likely have this on hand, Pangea mix, or any other crested gecko fruit veggie mix. I chose not to use the kind that comes with insects mixed in to respect my critters and not force them to eat other critters unless they themselves decide to. I'm looking at you, meal worms. This powder is loaded with all kinds of goodness that you can use to gut load your insects. Since I did get a mix that contains fruit with citrus in it, I will not be using it to gut load my own feeders for my leopard geckos. I want to avoid citrus altogether. However, this can be used with discoid roaches and dubia roaches really easy. Just add a little water to the bowl with the powder mix, mix it up, and let them enjoy. It should have an applesauce consistency. I was asked in the comments once before, and if I can find it, I will put it on screen about feeders eating Pangea mix. So I figured I'd add it into this video since we were talking about gut loading. That about wraps it up guys. If you like this video and you have it in your critter loving heart, give me a like, a subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. Until then, from the gizzards and I, have a wonderful day.